Hello Moringa lovers, it's John in Thailand and uh, we've been shopping today, Tick and I, my wife's Tick and uh, we didn't really buy much except till we got to the fertiliser shop and then we bought a bit, I'll show you what we bought um, but I think she's taken over my shed um, I've already put the, put the uh, veranda on both ends to me, you know, like so we can have uh, more stuff stored outside. As you can see, the tractor's kind of like outside now all the time. The old trailer's uh, stuck out there. Um, yeah, so it's not just out there, it's in here. Like she's got all sorts of chemi over there and these, uh, these cages they use for the roosters here in Thailand. Uh, when they want to keep them under control uh, All sorts of stuff here. It's just I don't know. I do feel like I'm uh, being pushed out of my own shed in one way <laughs> but, but I love the sweet thing. She's a darling. So I suppose I can't complain too much but You know like everyone's entitled to have a whinge every now and then out here, it's much the same as the other end. I had to put the veranda on, and uh, yeah, it's helped in the winter, in the wet season. But down here, here's the uh, gear we bought today. That's in the back of the pickup. I've got myself some worm castings. I think it's about 50 kilos or more there. It's heavy as. And we've got bags of compost. Let's call it compost. We'll know more when we open it up. I haven't bought that brand before, but the last brand I bought uh, wasn't so flash. So Tick's bought a few things. Not quite sure what's in the buckets. Uh, whatever's in the buckets is the same over there. Mm, not too sure what this one is. This is something she puts on the on the uh, mango trees. Good for them, possibly. And that one I know is uh, magnesium and sulphur, which we need for the mango trees. It's uh, it's not in the fertilizer we're using. I think we're using 151515 from Yarra Fertilizer Company this year, which is supposed to be better than uh, some of the other ones. Yeah, so about 14 bags of this compost here. Uh, yeah, so I can take a shopping in in uh, Bangkok when we go out to uh, places like Siam, Paragon and MBK Center and we can be there for four hours and she might not even spend a baht, which is not a lot of money. <laughs> uh, yeah, the banana trees have been hit hard this year. The rainy season's still not here. We've had some rain, but the poor old banana just haven't had enough water. We're on, uh, well, self-imposed water restrictions here ourselves. The well's dry. The uh, three tanks down there are pretty much empty. The one on the other side's got water in it, but only because it rained the other the other week. But the banana plants need a bit of fertiliser, I think, and some more water, and hopefully we'll see some bananas soon. We might have to cut some of these ones down, which is a pity. Uh, but the ones that are already large aren't going to produce uh, any sort of bananas if they're already not producing them, and they aren't. Uh, but yeah, the, the weather's been pretty bad, 41 to 43 degrees days most of the time in the last few months. Uh, banana trees here behind the house. We've got a few bananas up there which aren't looking too bad. And a few over there, which I can't quite see exactly. They're not looking all that flash, but they'll probably end up being eatable. <laughs> if not, they'll go into the organic hormones that the wife makes. Um, yeah, they get more water than the ones I just showed you on, at the back of the shed. But I'm not sure how much fertiliser they get. Might not be anything. So the dragon fruit's not bearing any fruit at the moment. Uh, not sure what some of these other plants are. Oh, that one there's um, 
No, now I've forgotten what the name is in English. Uh, I'll get back to you. You might know it yourself anyway by looking at the leaves. Uh, yeah, so there's our other tank down there that's that's uh, got a bit of water in it. Might be half full, I think. But yeah, um, tough times here at the moment. Uh, the next door neighbours had problems. His well's running low, just about empty. And uh, some of our trees are still alive only because we've taken the effort to water them. Uh, yeah, well that's probably it for an update for what's happening with me and uh, Tick and you know our endeavours in the village and we'll catch up with you again sometime soon. Bye now.